Hey everyone, it's me, Jacob. So the vehicle that you're looking at is a Lego Ghostbusters Ecto-1. So I'll be showing it to you, and I'm going to show every single detail in, in the car. So yeah, because last time, well two times actually, I feel like I didn't show that much detail into the car. So I want to make sure I show plenty of detail this time. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna show a lot of detail on the car. And on the 30th of, of December, there will be a video of a reference image, so you can see what that looks like. And what I was basing the car off of. I'm not gonna do it to, I'm not gonna do it tomorrow though, since I have a few other videos planned for tomorrow. Like three Stranger Gets Rad videos. And on the 24th of December is my YouTube channel's 4th year anniversary, so I need to have a video planned for that day. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm done rambling. Let's just get on with the video. So, on the front, there's a bumper, some headlights, and a grill, and the bumper is made of bricks right there. It also has a license plate, but that just fell off. I'm probably gonna glue that back on after this video. And there's also a hood right there, which doesn't open. So yeah, there's a there's a blue a light right there. There's also a windshield as well, which has been ch changed up by the way. There's a quite a few lights on the top, such as two blue lights, a light bar, and yeah, there's a little red light there as well. There's also a few, a few gadgets on the top as well, like a yellow canister on that side, and a green canister on that side. There's a searchlight there, and a little canister on top. There's also a hose on this side as well. It should be blue, but I didn't have a blue hose, so I had to use a black one. So, yeah. There's also the Ghostbusters symbol right there. <coughs> Which is also, which I also made out of paper. So yeah, and I glued it on. And on the inside, there's a steering wheel and a stick shift. It can fit two minifigures. So yeah. And on and on this uh, on the back, there's a light, another light bar, and some blue lights, just like on, just like in the movie. <clears throat> There's also some custom-made wings right there, which are red. This thing is... And this thing is six, to, six studs wide, by the way. It's built using lots of white bricks and plates. So, yeah. There's also a red stripe is right there as well. Just like in the movie. Because in the movie, the Ecto-1 also had a red stripe. So, yeah. <clears throat> There's a bit of detail right there as well. The plates should be light gray, but I didn't have any light gray plates, so I had to use this color. There's some taillights on the back. There's also a bumper which says E1, short for Ecto-1. There's another Ghostbuster symbol right there as well, and there's a windshield as well. There's also a ladder on this side, and as you can see, there's space to fit two two proton packs, because this thing can fit two minifigures after all, so it has to be able to fit two proton packs. There's some taillights on the back. There's also a bumper, and what I used to make the bumper are these one by 2 slope, well, cheese slope pieces, which are light gray, I mean dark gray, so yeah. So here's the sign. And, uh, if there was a competition where we had to build a bunch of movie cars, this would be my entry to the contest. So, yeah. And even if it didn't win, I honestly wouldn't mind, because it would still be fun to participate. So, yeah. There's the back wheels as well. And there's a bit of chrome there as well. And there's another, uh symbol right there. So, yeah. 
And this turned out pretty good. So, yeah. There's a bit more detail on the back as well. So, yeah. And as you can see, the wheels are tied together on the back. And I had to make that so it would be more accurate. <clears throat> so, yeah. But, I don't know. I think this turned out pretty good. I like it. <clears throat> There's also the back as well. And as you can see, I used those two white pieces there. Well, those two white pieces there, and one. There's also a little gray one in the middle, since I didn't really have, a, have another white one. So I had to use what I have. So, yeah. But, oh no, this still turned out pretty good. And, I think that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. Well, bye everyone.